so we're looking at ways to access prior knowledge. Um, one of the great ways to do that is to ask your kids what they already know about a topic. Um, and in Canvas, you can use a discussion for that. So you're going to head to your modules page and click on the plus sign. From here, you're going to change it. It defaults to assignment to discussion. And you want to be a, give it a new topic. And then the topic name box is going to um, show up. Um, that's where you're going to put your topic and add item. It's going to bring it to the screen. It adds it to your module, and now you need to edit it. So you need to actually click on it. And you're going to click Edit. Uh, here's going to give you a text editor where you're going to see uh, where you can type your question. Uh, up here, there are a few things, nice things that you can add. Um, if you want to add an image, one really nice way to do that is to click on Flickr. And you can find a picture that you want to use. And all I need to do is scroll down to the bottom and click Update. Uh, you could also, if you wanted to record a video of yourself, so if you wanted to say to your kids, hey, tell me everything you know about washing hands. Kids love to see your face. Uh, anywhere you see this button uh, with your Chromebook, it's super easy to just record a quick video. Um, but for this one, I'm going to call that good. Uh, you can decide if you only want it to go to a few classes, but I'm going to leave that for all classes. Um, you can assign kids into groups, but you don't need to do that. I'm going to say I'm an available from. If you want them to stop being able to answer on a certain day, you would put in until date and you can just do save but kids won't be able to see it then so i'm going to do save and publish notice when i go back to modules now uh, kids could just go to this now and click reply and type their answer um, but when i go to modules this little thing is green that means that it's published that means that kids can see it